something is wrong, ticket it. Oh, we just got dispatched to a 317, which is a bad accident. Someone may be possibly trapped in the vehicle. Punch you right in my toe. You're riding FaceTime, you're running red lights. You got a lot going on right now, man. I don't have to do this because they give me a chance. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Try to catch me howling at the moon. I need your help. Just started our new podcast called Nick Off Duty Presents. Go ahead, Nick. Uh. How about that hot seat now, Iggy? Uh. Darn kids are out there with them street takeovers, man. As sheriff, how do you plan on coming in and handling these knuckleheads? Recently had on the Karate Combat President. Woo! 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 I am the greatest president in combat sports history. You will see the most viral organization on the planet. Future guests range from law enforcement officers, sheriff, chief, SWAT, military, comedians, and much more. It's like Joe Rogan meets cops meets Happy Gilmore. You're not any good. I am good. Head over to the new channel and subscribe. And as always, thank you for the support. Now let's get back to the video. Welcome back to another episode of Police Vlogs, where we go around the nation checking out different police departments and what they have to offer. Today we're featuring a brand new agency that I need you guys to give a warm welcome to down in the comment section below, Miami Gardens Police Department. A little secret, the more we show love down in the comment section below, the more motivated these agencies are to come on board and show you what they have to offer. Speaking of showing you something, so you know in my opening scene I have this Bob Love camera when I'm introducing myself and Bob Love was nice enough to send me another camera. They sent me a new body worn camera made by Bob Love, it's the M5. So now I'm able to mix in more footage when I'm out with these officers. If you want to learn more about the Bob Love body worn cameras, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. All right, without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, most of you guys worked the detail before anybody here that did not work the detail. Everybody work the detail. Um, Pratt has the uh, signing sheet if you want the uh, off-duty pay. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing we normally do. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna stop everything that moves. If it's moving and it's wrong, ticket it. If it's um, suspended license, if the car uh, doesn't have the registration up to date, you gotta do what you gotta do, you go tow those vehicles. All right, it's no tolerance. We're gonna um, stay on 27th Avenue and we're gonna go down um, 183rd and we may move to 199 a little later, okay? I'm going, I'm going by you guys' advice. Like late, late yeah. Season. Okay, that's we do that after lunch then. We hit 199. Okay, but if y'all want to go to 151, I'm good with that. I'm going by you guys. You know, you guys are the eyes and ears out here, so y'all tell me what's going on, and that's what we'll do. All right, so we'll uh, uh, switch it up as we see fit. If you're not on the stop, turn them lights off because you're going to deter, you know, people, and they're going to slow them down. Uh, anybody run, run the razor later, laser? Y'all yeah, running it? Okay, you running it? Okay, good, good. Okay, that way we can get the speeders and we get the move over law also. If you got any complaints, Give me a call. Any complaints, give me a call, but we are not gonna come to the scene for everybody who's mad about their car getting towed. If you ain't riding dirty, it won't get towed. It's that simple, all right? All right, y'all guys be safe. All right, hey, there he is, there he hey, is. What's going on, baby? What's up, bro? Long time no see, man. Long time no see, how hey, you been? I'm good, I'm good. I appreciate you coming to Miami Gardens and checking us out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Officer Pratt from the Miami Gardens Police Department. Yes, I'm an FTO here also. I see that. I train uh, some of the new officers. Uh -huh. But you know we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna uh -huh. jump out there. We're gonna hit the road, baby. We're gonna show you what Miami Gardens is about. Reunited and it feels so good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's been a while. Yes, it has. It was like four or five years, six years. Well, about, about five years, man. It's five been about, about five years. So if you guys don't know, we used to work together. Yes. Yes, that was back uh, when you were a public service aide. I was a public service aide. Transitioned to law enforcement officer. And that's what I am, police baby. There he is, and now at Miami Gardens. Tell us a little bit about what you do at Miami Gardens. Well, I've been at Miami Gardens now for five years. I'm a, I'm a FTO, which stands for field training officer. So what I do is, you know, I train the new officers who comes out of the academy. I get them ready for the streets. Uh, you no, know, I critique them and I evaluate them. They go through four phases and 
Once they're done, they hit the streets. If people didn't know, Miami Gardens is the third biggest city in uh, Miami-Dade County. It's huge. Yes. And, and one of the most northern on the border, right? Yes. The ne right next to the county. Right next Broward. to Broward. That's Broward right. County. So in the jurisdiction, you guys, it's right here. You guys can see it's right next to the police station where the Dolphins play. Yes. Hard Rock Stadium. Sundays and you know, any other days the Dolphins play, we have big crowds here from all over. You were saying that there's a lot of events there. Yeah, they have like jazz in the gardens, uh, mm -hmm. rolling loud. Another big uh, Formal F1. So hey. Yes, F1. Shoot. I know a lot of other cities have things, but we got things too. Big residential area, yes. lots of shops and businesses. It's, it, we're growing right now, man. That's it. Oh, and we can't forget the Caller Casino. Very busy. As you guys noticed, there was a lot of officers at roll call. What's happening today? Today we're running um, a high visibility traffic detail, trying to slow down some of the drivers and who's been speeding, who's driving dirty. That's what they like to say out there. Okay. Uh, bad tags, no licenses. Uh, oh, that's driving dirty. Headlights out, a, a whole bunch of stuff. And recently one of your officers actually got injured by a hit and run, was it? Yes, actually he's my uh, my academy classmate, good guy, man. Man, how's he doing? He's, 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 uh, he's recuperating, you know. But uh, what happened there? Well, one night he was patrolling and a uh, drunk driver uh, ran through the light, traveling at a high rate of speed um, on uh, 27 Avenue and on uh, 167th Street and just T-boned him. Man. Total, 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 this vehicle, total both vehicles. That's why it's important when you guys are out here enforcing these uh, speed limits, traffic laws, just trying to keep everyone at a safe pace, right? We want to have a safe city. Yeah. So you know, we have a lot of pedestrian traffic here in Miami Gardens, and we just want everybody to be safe. He has front tents on the window. All the windows are black, completely blacked out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them over real quick. Yo, yo. Roll all your windows down for me, boss man. Roll them down, please. Thank you. All right, how's it going? All right, you know, you know why I stopped you? Because you have the illegal tents all over your windows. They have already gave me a ticket up for that two weeks ago. I'm gonna resolve it literally in the next week. They literally gave me a ticket like two weeks ago. So, so you received the ticket two weeks ago. Yes. And we're just two weeks later and you still haven't resolved it. I don't have any money to fix them right now. I'm trying to get it done by the end of this week. All right, uh, do you have a license and registration with you? Yes. I just need your insurance card. Well, I don't, I don't have the insurance with me right now. Do you have insurance? Uh, not right now. They gave me the ticket. I literally whoa, got- Whoa, 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 whoa. So you ride with no insurance, correct? Yes. They already, you were being pulled over last, well, two weeks ago for the windows tinted out. And the insurance. I'm, I, and you still ride. <laughs> I'm trying to fix everything. So that means you're riding dirty. You've been stopped before for the same issues and you, you continue to drive. So it's, it's, to us, it looks like you don't care. To take it for the front 10, okay? I'm gonna give you a break on the other ones. I know you said you want to go ahead and get that taken care of. You need to get taken care of ASAP. Yes, I, I am. I promise you. I'm just trying to make, I was doing a little Walmart order. Just yeah, trying to make a little extra money. This, these, these, totally illegal. Mm -hmm. All right? I mean, I'm here to educate you also, let you know what you got to do. So go ahead and get that taken care of, okay, brother? All right. He got pulled over like two weeks ago for the same thing. He right. had uh, illegal tanks. Front window blacked out, all the windows are completely black, you can't see in the vehicle, which is a hazard for him and for police also if we, if we pulling someone over. I call it a fix-it ticket, uh, I issued him another ticket for the for the front window. He fixes the problem, takes, removes the tent, yep. and when he goes to court, he, uh, he proves to the judge that hey, I no longer have the tents on my front window. Most of the time they get dismissed. Yeah, they get dismissed, so. All right, so this is police vlogs, what we're on right now, right? Mm -hmm. But I also have a series called Police Cars, we check out the rides of different agencies around the nation. And so the audience likes to learn about the vehicles. So what, what are we riding today? What's the car we're in today? This is my patrol vehicle. We're in a 2020 Dodge Charger. First time on police vlogs that we're riding in a Dodge Charger and patrolling. Oh, I'm that lucky guy. Huh? You're the lucky guy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So it's you broke the ice. Today. It's gonna be a good one tonight. <laughs> you broke the ice. I see some other vehicles. You guys are riding the Explorers. And then you got like, they're like ghosted schemes. They're pretty cool, huh? We call it the ghost print. We got the Dodge Durango's. Yep. Florida Explorers. Yep. And we have my baby here, Dodge Charger. 
this one got a little more pickup, helps you catch up the speeders and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah, a little V8 under the hood, along with some other things I'm not gonna tell you guys about. <laughs> Let's go, Martin. Let's go. Uh, we just got a 315. Um, 315 is what uh, our officer needs to back up. All right. They're on a the call with a uh, with a subject threat to kill himself. So we're heading over there right now. Right now it's heavy traffic. We're trying to maneuver to get to this call. So. But Nick's holding on tight, man. <laughs> when that, we, I, I promise you, he's holding on tight. So we, we come to intersections, we slow down, make sure uh, the cars are, are entering the intersection while we're entering the intersection so we don't get into the accident. Yeah. A couple of houses up. All right, talk to us. You know what happened. What happened? What happened? I, I tried to defend myself. Mm -hmm. He started throwing punches at me and stuff. Who? Uh, okay. And then he, he made my tongue bleed. Look. Mm hmm. I'm okay. saying. All right. And he threatened me. How did he threaten you? Because they heard it. I'm feeling pain right now. How, how did he threaten you? What did he do? He punched me. He punched you right in my tongue. Why would he do that? I don't know. I ain't do nothing to him. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was just going to go walk away, and he pushed me back. He pushed me back. Do you take medication? Yeah, I take medication. Take he medication pushed me back. Day? I'm not crazy. You taking medication today? Uh, no. So Officer Pratt arrives at an ALF, and what an ALF is is basically an assisted living facility. And what that is, it's basically a house where there's a nurse or some kind of medical provider there that ensures that the individuals that are living inside the house get their medicine, get uh, their proper hygiene, uh, to make sure they take showers, um, to make sure they get their food. So the individuals living in this usually find, you usually find like elderly individuals, or maybe somebody with a mental handicap or somebody with a mental illness. So these individuals are all living under one roof under the care of some kind of medical provider. When you arrive on a scene like this, you tend to make contact with the person there who's taking care of these individuals to try to get the story straight. Oh, you guys, you guys been here before? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey. The, the call went out as an emergency disturbance, right? And there was a possible knife. Did you guys find a knife in there? Well, it was no knife. Uh, we didn't find a knife at all. Okay. But uh, while, while we were in there, we spoke to um, one of the guys that was the guys that was in crisis. He complained that uh, the house manager beat him up. Okay. So we spoke to the house manager. He said that it happened. And as we were continuing our investigation, the primary officer showed up on scene. Okay. And no, we stepped back to let him handle that. Because you guys are doing that traffic detail. On the traffic detail, yes. You guys normally break off if there's like an emergency? Oh, uh, most definitely. We'll, uh, we'll break off and see what we can handle. No help out of the other guys that's on patrol. We're going to go back now? Yeah, we're gonna head back to the traffic detail and uh, see what else we can get. On to the next one. All right, let's go. I see y'all. Stop. Is that, is that you guys over there in the plaza? What's going on here? Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, are you driving? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But y'all speeding, you shouldn't be sitting on each other's lap. None of y'all got a seatbelt on, and he don't have a driver's license. There's like seven people in. Anybody in the trunk? No, oh, I'm just asking. Could be. Anybody with weapons or anything like that? No? Okay. Never ride with more than four heads in the car. Never. All of you guys. Never. Don't do that. It's a heat up. Motor, that is dangerous too. The accidents and everybody flying out the window or it's fly, it's flying into the back of somebody else. I talk to them all the time. <clears throat> I was that age and I never did it. And, I, and I, from experience, I know. We just stopped the car. It was going 76 in a 35 mile power zone. Uh, we caught up to the car. I was doing stationary radar. Uh, we made contact with the driver, 16 year old. Um, 
not supposed to be driving. He has a learner's permit. You gotta have somebody that's 21 years old in the front seat. He had a 17 year old in the front seat and there were five other people in the back seat without any seat belts. Seven total. Seven total people in a five passenger vehicle. All right. 76 and a 35 with seven people in the front. Yes. So. A little bit dangerous. Yes, it is. Along the black side. Oh, Let's go. Right That's right up the road. Getting ready. Let's go. Oh, we just got dispatched to um, a 317, which is a bad accident. Uh, we're almost there. We're going to go ahead and check this out. And someone's trapped, they said? Yeah, someone may be possibly trapped in the vehicle. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to uh, pull up on the accident here. I uh, see fire rescues on the scene along with other, uh, other patrol vehicles. Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey, everyone okay? Yeah. So what? Tell me what happened. Can you me in the queue? I'm driving southbound right uh, here. Uh -huh. and literally, I'm like literally in the intersection, and she just turns directly uh, into me. Turn from right over here? Right here. Directly into me. She can make a U-turn, she came across the intersection? Came up, no, she made a left turn. Okay, okay. Right into me. And you were coming south, right? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. But how is that, how is her damage like that, though? If he's going south, and she's making a U-turn, she's she's traveling north and make a make a make a U-turn. It's still like, her damage would have been mostly on the right. It would have been on the right hand side. Her damage is on the left side of the car. Her damage should be on this side of the vehicle if she was making a left hand turn, not on the left side of the vehicle. Unless she was in the in the beginning stages of the U-turn. That's how that's how I'm thinking. How you doing? You okay? Speaking a little English? No. No. No, no English. Give me a poquito. So. What direction do you go? What direction? I came from here and I was going to go to the right. Oh, so you go to the right? Yes, I came from here and I was going to go to the right. Was she making a U-turn or was she making a left turn? No, she was making a left. Okay. And it looks like he was coming south. Yeah, he said he was going south. Well, thank God everyone's okay. No one's hurt. We do have a bad 17 here. What's uh, 17? Like, yes, I'm not sorry. 17 is an accident. Okay, just making sure. Um, looks like the cars are totaled, mm -hmm. but we have no discrepancy here uh, which way the cars are traveling. Just by your initial investigation, who's going to be at fault? Uh, it appears to be the, the young lady behind us that's going to be at fault here. Okay. Uh, from what she was telling us, she was uh, trying to make a left turn to head back west, and the gentleman had the right of way going southbound on Northwest 27th Avenue. So it appears to be that she's going to be at fault. <laughs>
So, you know, we went ahead and ran the tag and, and it turns out the vehicle has not been registered since 2021. And we're in 2024 right now. Also, the driver has a suspended license and a seize tag order. I have discretion to arrest her, but I'm gonna give her um, a criminal citation. It's the same thing as being arrested, but it's just on paper, but she has to go to court because if she doesn't go to court, they're gonna spread out a bench warrant. And wherever she gets picked up at next, she's going straight to jail. So that's right. me educating her. What you got there? Huh? Oh, it's a screwdriver. What are you about to do? Uh, I'm about to seize the tag because there's a seize tag order on her car. And she's the owner or the driver. So that's why we're taking her tag. Oh. Uh, basically, we uh, bring it back to the station and there's a box that we uh, put the tags in. And I believe that one of the clerks from our department uh, just returns it to the Department of Motor Vehicles. All right. All right. Thank you. You just got it in the, in the trunk, huh? Yeah. You got to put it in the glove compartment, man. Because when I'm running, it says it's... It says it's fire. It's, it's, it's not. No insurance. Nah, it's valid. I got it from over there. No. The plaza's over there. Which part? They just gave you a car for the 30 days? I know they just what said show that. Work? They just said show that as proof. That's all they gave me. I don't I'm know if it's like a that. physical card or what. Um, no, I don't believe he has insurance. This looks kind of fake anyway, but. 2038 I'm going to secure your firearm, okay? The reason for the stop, the individual driving the vehicle, he made an improper lane change. Unfortunately, he had no vehicle insurance, but I was very grateful that he let us know that he had a weapon inside of his um, glove box. Always so a good we thing. always appreciate that. Yeah. Always tell us it's for our safety and yours. We we'll hate to find out a different kind of way. Yeah. So people like that, I always extend an olive branch to. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, no insurance is not going to go. Correct. All right. <laughs> so he and his vehicle got towed for that. Yes, purpose. sir. All right, but. The firearm was given back to him. Yes, it was. I took the rounds out and we gave it to him. He knows not to go back in that bag. Yeah. Go somewhere else. All right. <laughs> Good job. See you Thank out there. Thank you. Oh, this road ran ran the light. Oh, it was a red light. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, boss. Uh, you know what? Uh, why I stopped you? No. You, you ran the red light just now. Right now? Yes. Really? Yes. Hello. See, so you, you was on, you too busy on FaceTime looking down. No, boss, I swear. I don't know you on FaceTime right now. No, I called my brother right now. Was that Carlos? Hey, what's up, brother? Hey. Uh, oh, so back, back to you. Um, let me get your license registration. Is this your car? Yeah, it's my brother's car. Your brother's car? Okay. You have any weapons in here? <laughs> no, no? No, no, Okay. No, no. I have a picture of it. Right. Where's your hard copy? My what? The hard copy, of the like the physical copy of the license. I don't know, to be honest, I think I forgot it home. You know what I'm talking about, right? The actual the actual license. Yeah, I forgot it. Alright, let me see a uh, picture. This must be the thing today, Otilla. Everybody got the license on the phone, man. Yeah, that's the new thing. Oh, I gotta be the new thing. And do me another favor. Turn your car for me. Turn off? Yeah, it's off. Uh, turn it on D. You want the key too? No, I don't want the key. 
I want you to find your license, though. I got you, brother. I got you. There, there we go. All right. Let me do a picture. <clears throat> Let me write this down real quick. I'm very sorry, man. Yeah, I mean, you gotta have you gotta have it on. Your license is good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, a lot of people I come across who show me the picture. The, the license ain't good. That's the, that's like the telltale right there. You know what I mean? All right, where's your brother's insurance at? Go ahead, go ahead. So you missing your license? You missing the insurance? You riding? You riding FaceTime? You running red lights? You got a lot going on right now, man. I'll be back. Hang tight. All right, I'm back. So you're receiving two uh, citations there, okay? Two. Two. One for running the light. Unless you want a few more. My dad is going to get very mad because this is the first time I pull over. Yeah, yeah, you got you to gotta pay attention and stay off your phone, man. And you still on FaceTime. What's your brother's name? My brother's Marco. Vesco. Marco, what's going on, bro? You got to tell your brother to stay off FaceTime, man. And pay attention to these lights. You, could've, you probably could have hit somebody. You never know, you know what I mean? So, um, back to what I was telling you. Okay, you get you get a ticket for running the red light. And you get another ticket for not having your license on you. Well, I showed you the picture. Yeah, you're supposed to have it on you, though. Let me tell you why you're supposed to have it on you. I forgot it. Say you got out here, you get into an accident, a bad accident, nobody knows who you are. They'll be like, oh, who's, who's this kid, this 17-year-old kid that no one knows? When they look for look look for you and try to find identification on you, you don't have it. You see what, see, see what I mean? So that's the importance of having your uh, your license. So uh, your options are in here. You can uh, pay the civil uh, penalty. You can attend traffic school. Or you can set a date with the judge and uh, you can speak to him about it, okay? Yeah. All right, so uh, you're free to go right now. Driver, roll, roll all your windows down. Roll all of your windows down. How you doing? All right, officer is gonna speak to you on this side. We have expired tag. Yeah. I mean, Unless they intend to Wow, that's from like last year, uh, two, February 2023. Wow. Your, 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 license, your, your drive license is suspended. Can your, I call somebody? Yeah, you can call somebody for a ride, but I'm going to have to tow the car because your tag is expired. Okay, so you can't move the vehicle from here. So give me a second, but go ahead and call your ride for now, okay? Yeah, it's been suspended since like last year. No, I, got, I already, that's why I'm going to focus. I, I, I've already got pulled over and I stopped driving because I'm waiting until I get my taxes so I can fix my license. Mm -hmm. I know my license is and I went to go take my boyfriend dinner because he, he was, he's trying to finish. But we got kicked out of our house and we moved to another house. It's right up the street. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand, but you. Did your boyfriend got a valid license? Yeah, that's <coughs> the part. Yeah, you had him drive. I just uh, hang tight. Uh, we'll be back, all right? You don't have any weapons in here, do you? No, I, I, I have nothing. This no? is a car that sits at the house. Okay. Because it has no yeah, I want to go. Right, just hang tight. So as Officer Diaz runs the driver, finds out that she has a bench warrant. Now, when a subject has a warrant, the officer does not have discretion whether to just let him go with a promise to appear, which is like a written arrest, or give him tickets. That means a judge wants to see you, you missed your court date, and now anytime an officer runs into you and runs your name, they'll have what's called a bench warrant. And basically, you have to arrest them, you take them down to the jail, and then they sit and wait for their court date in jail and talk to the judge to find out, hey, why didn't you make it to court okay. when I asked you? So right now you're under arrest because you have a warrant. And then also you got to suspend your license. Yes, no problem. No problem. Just listen to the officer. I'm listening. I'm listening to the I do, but I can't understand you if you want me to call this number for you. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Barbie's my friend. She could call my boyfriend. Don't lock it up till it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we stopped this car here. Uh, she was speeding, she was doing 70 and a 35. Um, so when he pulled her over, I made contact with her. Her license is uh, suspended. She have an expired decal. And then I learned that she had a warrant. So at that point, I had to go ahead and arrest her. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tow the vehicle and I'm gonna issue her citations. And the warrant was er, uh, entered in the system as yesterday, right? Yeah, she just got the warrant yesterday for the same reason, driving with a suspended license. All right. So caught it right the next day oh my all right thank you no problem if it's your first time visiting the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw you got any questions put it in the comments below make sure you hit that like button and if you could go over to my new podcast hit that subscribe button show me some support i would really appreciate it all right until the next one i'll see you when i see you and if i don't see you well then i'll see you wait bro i'm putting you on the vlog what did you just tell me? I said I've been watching you since I was in middle school. Oh my God, you make me feel old, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to catch me howling at the moon.